Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sundered. So, I made my way down here because I feel like taking a look at this uh, mini-boss. And... More generally, I also feel like not taking a look at this boss right away, but I wonder if heading up this place, which I've proven to myself at least that I can deal with no problem, um, I did that off camera basically. I wonder where that leads. If that just connects over here and leads to some extra bonus, perhaps, or something. Um, you know, just in case it gives us a little bit more of an edge, perhaps, over the boss. But, well, let's uh, see what the mini boss does for us, has in store for us. So we should be able to just do this. And we've already. Mother's bodyguards, quite as Turnian. Okay. Yeah, we had already taken a sneak peek at this. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Turnian, Eskaton devotee. Take it easy-ish. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Now that I take a little bit <laughs> my time a little bit, I see how this actually works. Okay, we got one destroyed. Whenever there's multiple bosses like this, I can't help but wonder if they need to be defeated, you know, within a certain time from each other, or else they regenerate or something. So close. Ouch. Oh god. Um, can I do something like that? Yeah, that worked. Seriously enough. Okay, and this one, of course. Oh, was well, somehow damaged. Not really sure how. Oh, out of ammo. Oh, how did that happen? Easy? Huh. Shield absorb rank one. Thanks. That was really easy. I was totally expecting some another phase or something. Huh. Elder Shard Fragment. Okay. Oh, wait. Bring it to an Ability Shrine. Hold on. Oh. Or I could burn it, or, you know, crush it. Whatever. Which, uh, huh. Embrace the Eldritch power or defy it? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna embrace it. That seems to be in the spirit of this game. The question is, which one do I want to power up? Unless it doesn't matter? But, in case it does, um... This one was the shield, right? Yeah, that's the first one we got, so... Just in case that's how that works. This one should be double jump. So would that give me a triple jump? Would the shield be an even better shield of some sort? Or would it be fundamentally different? The cannon? I mean, I could see a powered up cannon being really good. And he did say, uh, Trappy that is, did say specifically when we picked that up that it's a nice little toy or something, but with his power he could make it, you know, even better. It's hard to resist the, uh, at least the, uh, even the idea of a, oh, wait, we cannot exit that way. Fair enough. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to resist even the possibility of a, of a triple jump, or, you know, some form of improved jump. So I guess I'm going to just head there next. It's also, it just happens to be the closest one, I guess, so that's convenient. And we'll see how that works. If that's how that works, or maybe you just have to visit any shrine and it's going to give you an option to choose. Oh, hi there. What was that? Huh? Assassin rank 2. Ooh. Wait, that's what we're using. So is that an automatic upgrade? I won't know, it, won't know until I return to the tree, unfortunately, because... Yeah, that's, uh, that's one thing I'm missing. Just a way to check your stats on the fly. 
Wish there was a way to just look at them, but uh, just to, you know, remind yourself. Not that it really ever matters all that much, but oh well. Oh, wait, that was a shield? Hmm. So, I, I could have sworn that was a shield, but I guess not. But then this must be double jump, right? I, I guess we had to... Col um, yeah, we had to complete this larger sh loop to get back there. That makes sense. I mean, ah, uh, the shield has been extremely useful. But this also seems like, um, like we don't really get a choice here or get to preview what it's going to do. Hmm. You know what, honestly, shield seems like a really good idea. If I'm looking for something that helps with the boss fight potentially, it seems like it would help more than the triple jump potentially. True believer achievement, yeah, absolutely. I embrace the dark powers. Miko shield, huh? Okay. Returns damage when hit. Uh, I mean, okay, sure. So it's not more protective, but at least it's it doubles as an offense. So, you know, it is better. I was kind of thinking that this might be what it does. And that's fine. I mean, honestly, I was... I'm still really surprised at how easy this miniboss was. Especially after how difficult this, uh, at least at first, this uh, this guy over here. Where was he even? Um, over here somewhere. Was he here? Yeah, okay, I guess. Um, whatever his name was. After how difficult he was, at least initially. I, I suppose when I finally beat him, it wasn't really that bad. What's, what was most annoying was that he was just roaming the area and there were other enemies around as well. Um, but yeah, this miniboss was so easy. I wonder if the boss is going to be... A a push over as well. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna head there. It's so so nearby. You know, it feels silly to postpone that. I, I might as well at least give it a try. I feel like I have a pretty decent chance. I also have enough currency. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Bit of a gauntlet before we get to... Uh... Wait, is this powered up at all? It doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Yeah, that elevator's not moving. Okay, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, we have enough to afford whatever it was. What was it? Another healing flask? Yeah. I mean, that could be useful. No doubt. Oh, uh, that's... Not amazing. Okay, I was... Nope, never mind. Ducking does not protect you at all. I mean, there is really no ducking. Oh, hi there. That powered up the elevator. Okay, fair enough. Not sure if that really makes things a lot easier here, but... I'll take it. Are these lasers ever gonna turn off? No? I guess not? Okay. Um... Jesus. Okay, those do. Um, okay. Okay, and switches on the other side. Oh god, um. Oh. I see, that opens that gate, that should make... Going back through this place easier if we need to. Um, I'll just, just tank that, I guess. Oh, oh god, this is kind of bad. Oh, that opens that, though. Oh, no. Yep, this place is definitely a little bit rough, but I think we actually made it through at this point. Nice. Wait, I thought he was on our side, or was he corrupted or something? But we are the ones who corrupt people. Oh, that's not open. Why is that up there not open? Can I... Huh, what's that all about? How would I get there? 
Hmm. Maybe that's the exit from the boss room or something? But it only displays a single door. I mean, the switch is up there, so... I don't see how else I would get there. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't like that I'm not at full health and down one elixir. That's not amazing, but I'm sure it's going to be fine, maybe. And we do have the shortcuts unlocked here that, you know, should make getting back, back a lot easier. Oh boy. Big room. Krujal Milach. Where are you hiding? Can't look at the map, by the way. I tried. Oh, okay. How big is this room? Come on. I know I can do it. Yep. There we go. Necessary? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Xeosh Kaipt Dominion? It's uh, like a tarot figure, isn't it? Oh boy. Okay. Where can I attack you? Do I attack the glowy bits? I probably do. Oh god, you're so big! Yikes. Okay, yep, glowy bits it is, of course. Oh boy, okay. Okay, I somehow dodged all of that. I have no idea how. Okay. Wait, is he... Oh, Elder Shot Fragment. I see, I, so I damaged those things individually. Oh, I could have uh, done this. That hit and dealt some damage, okay. Might as well, I guess. Oh boy, okay, those are... Yeah, I see, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's hang out here, where it's safe-ish. What are you? Crawler minion, okay. Nope. Nice. It's one down, and it drops stuff. Oh, what are, what are those things, actually? Are those portals that spawn more enemies? Yikes. Oh, no. Um, uh, that's... Hmm. Okay. It's fine. He's gone. At least I understand how the boss fight is supposed to work. Uh, close now. Yes. Okay, got him. Give me the money. Wouldn't mind an elixir, but oh god. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, I'm basically dead. Oh, health is coming back. That's nice, I suppose. <laughs> uh, shield, that is. Oh, this is. Oh god, the greed. Come on. Oh no, so close. Where's he gonna be? Up there. Crap. Oh god, I don't know where those... Where... I'm gonna hit. Yikes. Um... Get in. See, I should Achievement. Whoa, that was a nice rush of adrenaline. I mean, I should not have won this one. <laughs> I have zero HP, literally zero. But, hey, okay. Bullet Transfabricator rank one, Golden Charm rank one, Health Charm rank two. Nice, nice. And a shard, and something's happening. Are we getting transported back immediately? Presumably, maybe? Or are we going to a new area? Seems to be loading a, an awfully long time if it's just a sanctuary. 
three mini bosses per region. Okay, so I. Oh, okay, never mind. We're back here. Okay, I was waiting if, uh, you know, something. waiting to see if something else was going to happen, but uh, it didn't. Okay. 8,000, huh? I guess we got a good amount of money for the mini boss and boss combined. Um, yeah, let's definitely get this. There you go. Wow. I can't believe I actually got it. That was... I mean, I mean, it was the first attempt, right? Obviously, I spent the first half of the fight just understanding what, what was even going on. And, uh, yeah. I never fully understand understood what those red circle things were. were. Probably portals that spawned more of the minions? Although there were never an overwhelming number of those guys around, and they never seemed like much of a threat at all. I was... I also don't think I saw one of them drop anything. Like, I was thinking that maybe they were supposed to give you ammo and and uh, elixirs back. Maybe they had a chance to, but I guess I didn't defeat all that many, ultimately. So I never found that out. Or maybe it happened and I just didn't notice and the chaos that was happening. I will say that um, it was a little bit hard to get used to um, just the extreme zoom, right? That, would, that made it kind of hard to gauge um, my jump distances and whatnot. So it felt really, really weird, uh, you know, to, to do any platforming. But ultimately, uh, at least all those small platforms were spaced out so that a double jump would get you to them. So it wasn't a big deal, but it did feel weird at first. And, you know, that's definitely part of why it, it took me a moment to just, uh, you know, I don't know, find my way Find my bearings, I guess, in the fight. Anyway, what was I going to do? I At some point I started investing in this. Uh, what do I even want to get as far as main abilities go? I suppose the cannon damage. Health, shield, cannon damage. Or I could go health. Armor, shield. Hmm. I mean, this is shorter, so I should just do this. And we can get this. Yes. 530. That's uh, significant from an initial 300. Not bad at all. Let's see, health. Can we get damage somewhere? Well, eventually, yes. Cannon damage, luck. More luck here. Health, damage. Hmm. I mean, we can only get a single upgrade of anything at this point. All right, I was going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going for shield regen next, I suppose, so... More shield it is. Okay, awesome. 352 health. And 204 shields. Not bad at all. 18 armor. Yeah, we can actually, of course, see all of our stats over there. 18% um, extra luck. 103 damage. 530 cannon damage. 30% crit chance. Wait, when did that happen? Uh, am I crazy? When did we go up to 30%? I thought we were at 25 last time I checked. When, how did we get 5%? Not that I'm complaining or anything. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it. Um, uh, critical damage, yep. 175%, not bad. Energy regen, shield regen... Five ammo, three health elixirs, that's nice. Okay, awesome. Um, I mean, this seems this wouldn't normally seem like a great place to take a break, but um, I mean, I feel like this has barely started. Oh, and we got another... Oh yeah, we got a full shard for the boss. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, so how, what does that tell us? Well... We know that there are at least three main areas, right? If this is... if this works... As I expect, and these uh, side gates in the, you know, from the hub, are going to open up into areas similar to this one. But this also keeps going, right? I mean, there's obviously something over this way. Maybe, it, maybe these are actually transitions to the, to these other sections. So maybe there's three main sections, with three mini bosses each, which each give you a shard fragment. So that's three. And then a boss per section, three main bosses for six shards total. 
Could be. I guess it doesn't tell you, yeah. No. It only tells you how many shards you currently have and how many fragments you have, but not actually how many shards there are. Well, uh, either way, what are we doing with this knowledge? I guess uh, since we have a shard, we're going to go ahead and... Um, get our next upgrade. Or corruption. Ah, yeah, it's fine. I wish there was an interaction to, to actually, well, interact with the thing. Wait. Oh! That's a... Uh, okay. That wasn't there before. So there are three bosses, then. Or at least three, I guess, but... That just, yeah, you know, looking at the map, that just seems to make too much sense. But the areas themselves are massive, of course. So, yeah. Even if three bosses doesn't sound like a lot... There's a lot to explore on the way there, and I'm absolutely okay with that. Could be so much easier. I mean, dude, what more do you want? I'm fully embracing this... this corruption. Acting as if I've been... Resisting you, even in the slightest. The Togua's wings. Hold A while airborne. Oh, well, this is unexpected. Uh -huh. Okay, not the triple jump I was kind of hoping for. Hmm. Okay, so literally just hold A and this happens. Okay. Right, and if I tap, I just do this. I mean, it's kind of sweet looking. I don't know that I remember many places that seem to... that would seem to benefit from being able to glide across. Hmm. Oh, we can definitely go this way now. That was a shortcut. This down here... Required... Well... Oh yeah, uh, some sort of grapple, right? There was a grappling ring of some sort. I don't remember what this up here was. I should probably go back and double check at some point. But I guess while there are areas that I can definitely go, or almost certainly go, in this direction... Yeah, definitely. I'm. You know, the rest of this episode I'm gonna spend climbing up here and checking out whatever might be up here. That seems to be a uh, decent course of action. In fact, I could just go up this way instead, if I'm assuming that these connect ultimately. Yeah, I mean, since I'm here, and it's easier to go... easier to reach this, this place up here. I know what I'm talking about. It's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. We'll eventually get there. Suddenly, enemies. Oh, uh, sure, that works, but actually doesn't because there's nothing here. Never mind. Oh, um, we have a buff over here. A new one. What is that? A slow death awaits your foes. Okay. The stopwatch kind of symbol. So, a slow death? Poison? Poisoning my enemies? Most of them don't tend to live long enough for that to matter, but... I guess I'll take it. Oh, that's... That's not a treasure at all. Yeah, these, these guys are basically one-shots at this point, right? Yeah, they are one-shots. Okay. Some sort of evil explosion happened just now? Was that just a shield, re uh, shield retaliation effect, or... What was that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem like I poisoned that uh, meteoroid, so... So, I don't know. Oh, uh, sure? Okay. Wait, do we? Yes, we want to go up this way. 
no secret down that way. Okay. Yeah, actually, never mind. This can definitely help with wall climbing. Oh, you know what? We can absolutely do that. Uh, huge waste. Oh, well, especially when we do that. There you go. But very satisfying. And projectiles do seem to travel infinitely far. It's what I assumed, but uh, it's nice. Well, maybe not infinitely far, but very far. Oh, more of these here. Oh, that's... Mm, okay. Okay, get the ammo right back. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, that one did die after a while. Oh, okay. So they will explode after a moment. They don't take continuous damage. Just, I don't know, die a certain amount, a certain time after being hit. Can we? Oh, yeah, we can do that, but we need to head over there to collect the stuff. Unfortunately, ouch. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had some tougher enemies here. I guess I could hurry... Oh, never mind. The effect is already gone. Well, yeah, I could have hurried up and tried to make it to the uh, Endless Horde area. Oh, we got one of these, huh? Or do we have two back-to-back -back again? No, not this time. Wait, where's the... Uh, okay. Should I do this? I mean, I think so far these have always given me uh, perks. So, oh yeah, these are so much easier to kill now. This should be absolutely free. There's still gonna be a ton of enemies though. An absolutely ridiculous number of them. Yeah, look at how quickly I killed that little worm. In fact, oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't sure if it was already dead there for a second. Oh, hey. The worm itself dropped. Stand firm rank 2. That's nice. We're getting a bunch of upgrades now. There we go. That was absolutely free compared to my first experience. Magnet rank 1! There it is. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of my slots for that now. There is no way around it. Well. Hopefully I'll get the third slot uh, unlocked sometime soon. Oh, wait. We can't go up this way. What? It's not even... Displaying this room as a as a requiring an ability. Hmm. Huh. What's up with that? I guess because it's just the exit from the area that this connects to. I wonder though. Could I tank the damage? I mean, I get knocked back a little bit, but no, actually, that might be a a door up there as well. Closed hatch of some sort. Okay, never mind. Huh. I guess we're gonna have to take the long way around after all. I should probably just not, you know, not bother with killing all of these enemies. They're probably not particularly worth killing at this point in terms of, you know, money they draw. I guess I'll kill whatever is in my way, but I'm not gonna bother backtracking to clear out everything. Ouch. Oh, we're... okay. Actually almost there. The 
one barracks, endless horde. Oh. Timing with the between the, the elevator and laser was favorable there. What's up with that? Ouch, ouch, not good. Okay, didn't miss any uh, crossroads so far. Is there anything down here? I don't think there is. No, this, this room layout always seems to be a, a um, dead end. Maybe it's not necessarily always. So far, I think it's been. Perfectly into that laser, as you do. Okay, actually, this is a large room, but there's nothing, there's no other path to go from here. Also, this, all things considered, this seems a, a lot tamer than the, the other horde that horde area that we cleared last time. But this one does have multiple types of enemies. The other one had only the uh, the red um, hunter enemies, right? And having only one single type of enemy to, do, to worry about certainly helps make things more, you know, manageable. But of course, it helps that these enemies are uh, just weaker versions. Oh, okay, we already made it to the uh, free perk. I wonder about those, though. I mean, obviously we've been getting all kinds of perks, just as drops from the occasional bigger enemy, from treasure chests... Ouch. Mini bosses, of course. And then there's just a small handful of, uh, I guess, fixed rooms, fixed locations that always. Oh, could, you, could you please not mess up this platforming? Jesus. I kind of want to go up there. I know it's a little bit silly, but. Can I? Oh, yeah. Thank you. There we go. Now I'm happy. Okay, this is actually the the only way once again. I wonder if these tough skin, okay. I mean it's not a rank two of anything, so it's it's something we didn't have before. Maybe it's guaranteed to give you a new one. Well, I don't know. If that makes sense. It's just, you know, those don't those things don't respawn, as far as I can tell. They they're just fixed locations that give you a perk, but there are so many other locations that give you perks, right? We have gained the vast majority of our perks from non-fixed locations, or, well, I guess mini-bosses are kind of fixed locations as well, in a way, but you know what I mean. So, you know, it seems kind of silly to have these rooms that are, you know, have their own map marker and everything that seems so important, but ultimately they give you something that you get everywhere, <laughs> you know, that you get much more of in, in other places. Not that I, I'm complaining about more perks, you know, but I wonder if there's something special about them. Maybe uh, there are certain perks that you only get from those rooms. That could be. Okay, and we're finally done with the onslaught here. <laughs> this entire area is mostly unused. I suppose that's just how it happened to be generated this time, and it's not guaranteed to be that way, but... Okay, well, at least now I know, now it's pretty much confirmed that these horde areas, endless horde areas, are pretty much just optional. And this one was definitely, yeah, this one was just an optional loop that gave me a perk along the way, and this one over here somewhere, down this way, yeah, also gave me a perk. 
Right. Okay, fair enough. Now that leaves this path that the game kind of tells me I can go because there's that blue arrow pointing that way. Well, we do not have a blue arrow pointing this way, although I wonder. I mean, it looked like we'd need to have a shard for that to open. Or something shard related, right? The purple barrier. So, I wonder why that one's not marked. Maybe because this area is the uh, recommended one, difficulty-wise. That would make sense. I suppose I might as well make my way there. Maybe I just have to... Yeah, I mean, obviously the... We seem to be pretty much done with this area, as far or you know, apart from the paths that we just cannot go because we're missing abilities. Um, and obviously, neither, neither of the other two doors in the in the hub area opened from within, so I guess we have to just manually travel to one of the other areas, and then either do something there or maybe just getting there is enough to allow us direct access from the hub. Something like that. Either way, that seems uh, like a useful thing to maybe work towards next. So, let's do that. I was totally expecting that mini-boss, and especially the, the main boss, to, you know, take a lot more effort. And a lot more time, ultimately. So I wasn't really planning on, you know, what else to do with this episode at all. I thought that was going to be plenty to keep me occupied. And here I am. Having done all of that and... Explored the Horde room and everything. Okay, right. We want to keep going down. One-shot these guys along the way. Do we literally one-shot these now, actually? I guess we do. Or maybe those were both crits. We do have a 30% crit chance all of a sudden. That's actually completely crazy. Considering we started with zero. Shutting those guys. Nice. Passageway to the Holy Eschaton City. That sounds important. Uh, do we know what Eschaton is in this context? I feel like that's a real word, real word, world, real world term that means something. Of course, in the context of this game. I wonder. Those are the enemy of the Valkyries, perhaps? In other words, the... Uh, followers of the of the Eldritch Beings, perhaps? Or, I, I say Eldritch Beings. Maybe there is just the Trapezohedron, I don't know. Don't know that we know about any other entities... ...besides our Master. Okay. Well, this is actually already a new room, yeah, okay. Hadn't been here before. But well, it's just part of the same biome, I suppose, and seems to be the same difficulty wise. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, we do have the second tier enemies here, I think. For what it's worth. Going back for that hunter. So we're gonna have to deal with being sniped. That's fine. Wait, this is a dead end. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. This looks meaningful. Even death won't save you from this place. Well, I, yeah. I guess. Because I, I can't die. I'm just respawning over and over until I fulfill my master's plan, I suppose. I guess you decide whether that's a blessing or a curse. 
Okay, yeah. So we're, as expected, we're in a completely new area. We have two abilities here. Awesome. Hmm. That looks bad. Can we just go through that? I mean, there's no choice, right? Oh, that just pushes me down. Don't think it damaged me, though, or did it? No. Okay, that's... Literally... Oh, I remember, actually. Well, I can't look at it now anymore, but... There was... Yeah, that I think the um, ability gate in the top right corner of the other map was actually a waterfall that was pushing me down. I've completely forgotten about that, but it was basically the same thing, just a different graphic. Yeah. Okay. It's not pushing me down that much, though. Not that forcefully, but... Uh, are you an enemy? Uh, just a random little friendly tentacle, I guess. I guess we're allied with tentacles. Okay, where can we go? I think for now I'm gonna try and go up and find my way back to the hub. See if I can open up that shortcut. That seems like it would be pretty major. This could be a short... Uh, a secret passage, that's the... I was looking for. New enemies! Awesome. Uh, screamers, okay. Didn't get much of a chance to look at them here, but okay, that's a crawler. Yeah. Makes sense. From the way uh, they move. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think it's dead. Yeah. Seems like it. Could head over that way. Oh, I can't go this way. And that requires two thingamajigs. Hmm. Do I need to have two shards on me? Or how does this work? Obviously, I have found a total of two. That is... I think that was a one shot. Yeah, it seems to be dead. Okay. Hmm. Okay, not sure about that. Maybe that's got nothing to do with shards. Maybe that's something else entirely. Oh, finally some breakables. Okay, those do exist here. Some eldritch pottery. Oh, wait. Oh, that's uh, a screamer. Gotcha. So far, enemies are not particularly numerous here. I wonder if that's... Only because this is the very first area. And the game is still going easy on me. Hmm. Oh, wow, another secret here. And this time, it did not actually look like there was going to be one. Um, that being said, that looks like one, but there isn't one. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, come on. Okay, some interesting backgrounds here. Oh, is this... The big shortcut? Has to be. I mean, honestly... Before we start... Oh yeah, wow, we just walk back seamlessly as well. Nice. Cool. Yep, and it is as I... As I imagined, basically now we only have this left area displayed at all. And it is going to, yeah, it definitely overlaps with the area of the other map, because this is obviously non-Euclidean. Eldritch beings don't need to, you know, adhere to those kinds of physical constraints. That makes sense. Ah, yes, we were working towards this. There we go. Didn't even pay attention to the cost. Shield regen, uh, re regen, shield regen has gone up though. That's nice. More health, more armor, more damage. Luck and damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go this route, even though I'm not gonna be able to afford it. But uh, you know, armor is nice, but picking defense is so lame when you can pick offense instead. Um, offense and riches, of course. So yeah. Anyway, um, I'm. 45 minutes? Yeah, I think I'm happy with ending the episode here. I mean, I did beat a mini-boss and a boss, the first boss, 
even though it turned out to be... I mean, I don't know. I guess it was a pretty... pretty amazing spectacle. I feel a little bit bad for, you know, defeating it the way I did on the first attempt. Oh, I didn't even realize that. She's attacking with her foot when you attack downwards like this, right? The shadowy energy blade thing just spawns on her foot? That's wild. These animations are... are something. A sight to behold, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, the, the boss was, was quite the spectacle, and, you know, I wish I had had a chance to look at it a little bit more closely, I suppose. But then again, I, you know, I'm absolutely going to take a first first try victory. And I suppose considering that I went in with, you know, one less uh, healing flask and not full health, I didn't do so badly. And considering, you know, it, it was quite chaotic and, you know, there was the the extra handicap of the extreme zoomed, extremely zoomed out camera that made it kind of awkward to even platform and everything. So all things considered, you know, I'm I'm going to uh, I don't know. I'm gonna going to accept my victory and you know not feel bad about it, I suppose. But uh, it did feel a little bit anticlimactic as all. But anyway, so yeah, uh, just just trying to say that we did make good progress here. And, you know, cleared out most of that first first zone, I suppose. And, uh, yeah. Next time we're going to start exploring the next one. For real. Maybe we make our way to one of these abilities. Or both. We'll see. Um, but for the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment. And I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.